Can, can you find Fuzzy's socks? I'm supposed to be able to find our eyes. No. With your nose? Find them with your nose? Is that like Chase? No. Where were they? Our eyes. Our eyes? No, our playing in the nose. Tommy, you're not really looking. It's a teddy, but that's not his socks. Where's his socks gone? Oh no! Teddy's not his socks! Teddy's not got any socks on. What's that? It's okay. Where's Fraser's socks? Can you find Fraser's socks? Yeah, our eyes. Our eyes? Keep running in the same direction. Right, is it all underneath here? Do you think? Do you think the socks are down here somewhere? Under this pile of cushions that you've made. Oh, look! Where were the socks? Where? There. Go and get them then. Oh, there they are. Did you find them? Yeah. How did you find them? They're not Teddy's socks, they're too big for Teddy. Right, shall I put them on Fraser? No. Yes. Teddy's socks. Get Fraser dressed. Teddy's socks. Okay. Morning guys and happy Friday. I thought I'd vlog the next two days. Um, we are just about to head out of the house for a little walk. I need to go to the shops. Um, it's proven difficult to get out of the house because mostly Tommy just doesn't want to go out. He will want to be out once he's out, but He's, he's an absolute nightmare when it, try, when it comes to trying to get him out of the house. Um, so he's refusing to get dressed and refusing to do everything. Anyway, he's dressed now. I'm going to go and get the posture out, head out for a walk. So I'm not going to take you with me because we're not going anywhere interesting. Um, just to the shops and then I'll catch you later. So we're back from the shops. That wasn't a particularly enjoyable trip. Tommy is being such hard work at the moment. I constantly have him to tell him to come back. He keeps disappearing around corners and... It's just, probably nothing's going to happen to him, but it's just a scary thought that something, something could happen. And yeah, constantly telling him to come back and I'm being that mother who is shouting in a shop, which I never wanted to be, but they just don't listen, do they? Anyway, we're home now. Um, I thought I'd quickly show you what I got from the shops. I'm not going to do a separate video um, because I got it, like some random bits from different shops but I thought I'd share it with you here um, before I make our lunch. So I went to three different shops, I went to Poundland, Pound Stretcher and Morrison's. So from Pound Shop I got this book here which is a Nickelodeon Junior um, like annual thing. Tommy picked it up, it was a pound so I let him take that. He loves Paw Patrol and Blaze so I let him get that. Then I picked up this little um, Warren and the Snow Day book. Again, that was a pound. I thought that could go in their December box. I'm planning to do a December box rather than a Christmas Eve box because Christmas Eve is Keith's birthday and it's busy anyway. So I'm going to do a December box for them. I thought that would be a nice story to, for Tommy and I to read at night. And then I got some elf stuff in um, Pound Shop, which I thought was really good. Um, there's these stencils for doing footprints. I'm going to try and do Elf on the Shelf this year. I've never done it before, but Tommy is really kind of taking things in at the moment and he's been excited for Christmas already, talking about Christmas, so I thought I would try doing that. So I've got the stencil for the footprints, then I got this Elf Swing, and I thought I could do something fun with that. These are all a pound as well, so it's not a bad price. And then this Elf Mail. Yeah, so a little kind of bottle with a little piece of paper in there and it's elf mail so I guess you just like write a message on that little bit of paper and then you just switch it out for a new piece of paper and then you can do a message each day or whenever you want to do a message I thought it was quite cute so like that. there's more stuff in for the elf, elf um, on the shelf I just that's all I got this time there oh and I also got these boxes from Pound, Poundland these were a pound each of us three they're not going to come out, but they do. I've got plans for these for the bathroom, but I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to put them yet. 
but I didn't want to wait until I had space for them and then they not be in because they're a really good price for a pound and I like that they're white. Then from Pound Stretcher I got these little treats. We've obviously already opened them. Some little caramel creams, little biscuits and then these tea cakes and then I got this toothpaste for the boys. It says it's for age um, not three years so it's not going to focus on it but yeah I got a toothpaste for them then I got some shampoo for Keith this is the argan oil shampoo he had no preference I just picked it up it was a pound for that and it's um 100 and no it's not 150 it's 300 mil so I picked that up for him then I got myself some conditioner I got myself a Tresemme perfectly undone conditioner and I've been using this to co-wash so wash with conditioner and I found it really good it's cleans my hair really well so I've picked more some more of those up because they're only £1.79 I think each and they are 500 ml so that's a really good price because I find that a lot of the products for curly hair can be quite expensive so I'm trying to do it on a budget I thought that was good and that, it, that works really well for me and then I understand that this is curly girl friendly which is the argan oil conditioner. I thought I'd try this to condition my hair after I've co-washed it, um, something a bit um, moisturising hopefully. So I thought I'd give that a go and that was just a pound. Um, that was a pound, they were about one seventy-nine. Then for Morrison's I got some hot dogs. We're going to have hot dogs tomorrow night because we're going to do some fireworks. Um, and these are just eight hot dogs, a bit nicer than the ones in the tins got two of those and then for a little treat I've got two cakes a toffee apple one and a bonfire treacle one I thought they were kind of fitting for the time of year this is it says it's toffee flavored Madeira cake with apple and fudge pieces and this is a sticky ginger cake enriched with black treacle and then I got myself some lunch so it's got this soup which is an Indian sweet potato and coconut dal never had it before see what it's like I'm hiding away in my kitchen hoping that Tommy doesn't come in and disturb me but I wanted to show you a product that I've been sent I've been sent a set of headphones and this is the packaging that it came in it's from a company called Studio, and it comes with this really stylish packaging and it's got like a magnetic opening here I think it's magnetic that's what I think yeah it is I can feel the magnets there and it just pops open and obviously inside will be the headphones they're not in there at the moment i've just got some of the spare earbuds because it comes with quite a few different sizes to suit your ears but i thought that was a really kind of nifty way of packaging it because i find some packaging you're really struggling to get into it and then afterwards it's a bit of a mess because you've had to pull off tape and all that kind of stuff but it's just a magnet and it's open it's really nice um so this is the headphones and it comes in this gorgeous little leather case and they're just a little earbud ones and so yeah there's a little clasp on the case and it's just such a small little case and I think that's a really clever idea because I don't know about anyone else I never know what to do with my headphones and they just sit in my bag or in a basket in my cupboard gathering dust and all sorts of other yucky things and I never know what to do with them they always get tangled up and with this it comes with a little case so I can pop them in the case and pop them wherever I need to keep them in my bag or in the cupboard in my on my desk and so these are the headphones and they are cordless so they are they've got a charger um, point on them and then they connect to your phone or some computers laptops through Bluetooth obviously the device needs to have Bluetooth in order for that to work and my computer I've not tried it in the laptop but my computer and my phone both connected up fine to them and I love that they're cordless there's one thing that I struggle with the idea of with having young children would be to be attached to something and if I needed to quickly go and do something like if I was attached to my phone while walking and suddenly Tommy decided to do, leg it as he does as two two year olds do do I'd be attached to the phone that would be in my in my push chair possibly because I don't always have pockets on me and I would like pull the phone with me anyway you get the picture of what could happen 
I love that they're cordless, that they are only attached to me and nothing else. And the controllers are on the side here. You've got the volume up and down, and I think the middle one is for turning the Bluetooth on. And the clever thing is they've got another little box on the other side. There was nothing on that one, but it must be so that it weights it. So when they're in the ears, they're not being pulled down like one way. If it was this side, it was not being pulled down that side. So I really, really love them. It also comes with a little clip. I've not used the clip yet, um, but it's a little rose gold. Little rose gold clip. And I guess that's so that when you've got them in, you can attach them maybe, because this will have a speaker on so you can talk while on your phone and I guess you want to have it clipped there to keep it in place. I've not used that part yet but the rose gold on there matches the rose gold on the headphones. I went with the white and rose gold so I thought they were really stylish and I just like them. So I have a code that I can share with you. I will pop it on the screen here. I don't remember what it is but I will pop it on the screen and it's for 15% off um, any order so if you are interested in purchasing some for yourself or maybe a gift we are coming up to the Christmas season now I think it's safe to say that we can say Christmas now Halloween's over we do have bonfire night but bonfire night may have happened by the time you get to see this video I, I may get it up before I don't know but I think we can say Christmas now um, so 15% off a gift would be a nice little saving for you if you're making a purchasing a gift for someone else but I just want to say a big thank you to Studio for sending me these headphones. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So thank you very much. So some of you will know that I've been following the Curly Girl Method for a few months now. It's, I think it's around the end of August that I started it. And I will link some videos for you so you can go check those out. But it's basically taking out silicones and sulfates from your hair products. Um, and curly hair tends to need a lot of moisture. I do have greasy hair as well. So I've kind of got greasy, oily hair here. And dry hair here but my hair is on day four I washed it on Tuesday it's now Friday I did a full refresh on Wednesday so I basically wet my hair in the shower completely and put products back on but I didn't wash my hair so I think I'm doing pretty well it's very frizzy today there's a lot of frizz going on um, and I probably could have done it with washing it today but I want to do a deep condition tomorrow and I didn't want to wash it today and then wash it again tomorrow and I don't have time today when I'm on my own to do a deep condition and um, obviously tomorrow's the weekend so I'll have some help so I want to do a deep condition tomorrow and I want to make a rice water rinse so rather than making another video I thought I'd just pop it into this video and um, basically what a rice water rinse is is rice soaked in water and you take the water that's been soaked in the rice and use that on your hair um, I'm going to add it to a deep conditioner to put in my hair. I've done this the last two weeks and it seems to have really worked. I've used that deep conditioner before and I didn't really see any difference um, but when I've used it with the rice water I have seen a difference so my hair's a lot softer, shinier and just seems a little bit healthier. So I'll show you what I'm going to do to make the rice water and then tomorrow morning I will show you how I mix it up with the conditioner but also like the results of what it looks like once it's dried. I just thought I'd pop it in here rather than just making a brand new video because I'm not an expert when it comes to making the rice water and I didn't really want to show you anything else with my curly hair at the moment because I don't have anything different in my routine at the moment so it would just be a bit of a short video if I just did the rice water so anyway here's the rice water what I'm going to do now so here I've got just see if I can do this I have half a cup of rice, so I'm going to pop that into this bowl now. And then I'm going to do two cups of water. So I just thought it would be easy to do it this way. I'm just going to pop that in on top of the rice. And then I'll do one more cup. What did you do, Tommy? You okay? What did you do? You okay? Yeah. So I'm just going to give it a little mix 
and then I'm going to let it sit here for about 30 minutes and let the rice soak in the water and then I'll drain it off. So I'll be back soon. So that's had 30 minutes now and as you can see it is cloudy white now. So I'm going to drain it and then pop it on the side. So that's all drained now. I could use the rice, I guess I could boil it. There's no reason why I can't, it's just been sat in water. Um, but we're not having rice tonight so it seems a bit of a waste but it is only half a cup and it is cheaper than buying like other expensive deep conditioners so I probably should plan it a bit better and do it on a day where I'm going to be making some rice but I'm going to put the water into this jar just so it stores and nothing gets into it no dust or anything else any bugs you never know so I think the idea is that it's meant to sit on the side for, I think, 24 hours to to 48 hours until it starts fermenting. I haven't got 24 hours. I'm going to use it tomorrow morning, but I'm going to leave it on the side at room temperature and just hope that it's been there long enough. Um, so I'm probably not going to get the best out of it, but it still seemed to work quite well. Um, I've got quite a lot in there. I Last time I used about half of that on my hair and then it stores in the fridge for a week then i used it the following saturday so i'll probably do the same again i use half this saturday and then i'll keep the other half for next saturday um so i guess that's slightly longer than a week but i'll have to do morning guys i'm not feeling quite ready to be on camera this morning so i'll just gonna film like this i have my rice water and then i have a deep conditioner like a hair mask so i'm going to mix those together i'm just going to put a good helping of this in there's no actual measurement so just going to put in however much i feel necessary and mix it with a good helping of the rice water it will be really really runny and i will just saturate my hair with it and then what i'll do is i will clip it up with this and put a shower cap on and then finish my shower um, I'll probably shave my legs today so I, the shower takes a little bit longer um, so that the hair mask can stay on as long as possible I'd leave the hair mask on at least 30 minutes if possible but it probably won't happen this morning it's getting a bit late I think it's gone 10 o'clock already um, Keith let me have a little sleep in this morning and I've had breakfast so the time is kind of disappearing on us today um, so yeah I'm going to do that now and then I'll be back a lot later when my hair is dry but I'll probably do a few little clips in between so it's a lot later I think it's around five o'clock and I've obviously done no vlogging today my hair is still damp um, at the roots so I can't show you what it looks like and it's too dark now to show you anyway Tommy wants to show you his hot dog what have you got Tommy what is it sausage. The sausage is it yummy <sighs> um, and you've got cheese on yeah. yeah, and ketchup. Ketchup. You've got ketchup around your mouth. <gasps> Don't show us in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to see that. So we are having hot dogs. Hot dogs! Yeah, I might have mentioned that today or yesterday. Having hot dogs and some chips and then fireworks. And kids suggested we stay indoors and he'd do them outdoors. So we might do that, I'm not too sure. That means we can stay in the warm. And he can go out in the cold. What do you think, Tom? Are you going to see some fireworks? What noise do the fireworks make? Pow, pow, pow. What do they do? Pow, pow, pow. Pow, pow, pow. So yeah, so, but I, as for my hair, I'll have to wait till tomorrow morning and hope that it still looks okay after sleeping on it to show you what it turned out like because it's far too dark and still wet. That's how long my hair takes to dry. This bit is nice and dry. Um, this bit up here is still wet because I had it clipped up and I've unclipped it now, but it is still damp and it's gonna take another I reckon another hour or so to fully dry, so I'm not going to touch it. I am obviously touching it right now, but I'm not going to like, scrunch it out and fluff it up before it's dry. So it'll have to be the morning now.
Good morning guys, so I pineappled my hair, so basically put it in a high ponytail overnight and I was a bit worried what it was going to look like this morning but I'm actually pretty pleased with how my hair's looking this morning, there is some frizz but I've got some really good volume today and it is pretty shiny and some nice curls going on, so yeah the rice water definitely seems to be working, um, my hair definitely likes it, so if you've got a protein deficiency in your hair, is that the right word to use? Um, rice water could be the answer for you so i'm really pleased with how it's looking today um there is some frizz going on it's a bit flat there but i've got some nice volume here um yeah pretty pleased with that anyway i'm going to leave it there because this video i know is far too long now so we you just don't want to be watching for this long anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>